Hello, boys and girls. My name is Hazelsi, and welcome back to another day in Minecraft. And today we are at our wood farm, which can, in theory, produce four different wood types. Though jungle wood is not that efficient with uh, the a one by one tree. Uh, but there are quite a few other woods that we cannot cover with this farm. So today we will build another farm for Acacia. And uh, since I built the exact same farm in my last season, I think I will not take you through it step by step, but instead Let's create a time lapse and then maybe at the end um, some explanations. So, enjoy! The farm is completed and as you can see from the logs behind me, uh, it's also working. I tested it out. But let's have a quick look uh, to figure out what's different from this farm uh, to the farm over there. This farm is slightly faster in produ producing wood because here the speed is reduced so that the uh, the branches that go off the uh, acacia trees are properly aligned and pushed and this requires a bit of uh, reduction in speed so i think i will only use this one for acacia wood and at least in theory it should also work for the uh, uh, the cherry blossom trees that are coming in 120, though I have not tested that out. The farm, by the way, is a design by uh, Gecko, so uh, I will link his tutorial if you're curious uh, to build it yourself. And the main difference here is uh, over there uh, the uh, pistons that basically uh, extend the, the sides here to break the leaves are pushed by quasi connectivity uh, with this uh, redstone blocks here on the side and that means it's a bit tricky 
to build the farm up because uh, to place them you have to ensure that uh, uh, the it's it's over the push limit so uh, the the pistons are not powered uh, and with this you don't have the this problem because uh, each piston pair uh, is powered here from the side separately means uh, maybe a bit more uh, uh, resources are needed but I think at this point we have them and then of course here we have uh, uh, basically a triple piston extender and the uh, interesting part here is that if everything is pushed uh, to the middle then basically this wall and this wall touches so we have this uh, uh, this stripe uh, pattern going on which is different on this side than on this side so uh, slime and honey come together and they do not stick together and of course on this side and this side we have the same pattern so uh, at least in in theory we can form all these type uh, oak is is uh, missing because i only had one oak for the for the filter um, so here we sort out the saplings uh, everything in excess gets destroyed here on this side and eventually over here we should end up with all the different wood types and uh, the signal to the top is uh, the same pattern as there is the scaffolding uh, we have a, a clock up there which controls the the tnt duplicator which is a bit of a, of a different design than the one over there uh, this one shoots the the tnt forward aligns it slows it down so that it basically explodes a bit above the uh, obsidian there which is there to uh, protect the uh, hoppers here in the front and what we have here on this side is the uh, uh, lock stream coming out here uh, and when a new lock is moved in this piston here detects that uh, triggers these two pistons which push everything along so basically this is a redirection from one stream uh, into a double stream and then over there we have the same pattern again only there it's uh, it's a, on a on a diagonal um, that's pushed in uh, and uh, then when it comes into the range of the explosion gets destroyed so i would say let's go ahead and uh, farm ourselves a few acacia trees i do have uh, three saplings uh, ready so i hope that works out we have to turn the farm uh, on here and it's usually a good idea to wait until you hear the first tnt drop because if there is already uh, wood pushed out you want to ensure that that wood gets destroyed first because before new wood gets dispensed so let's also try a bit of uh, a replay uh, recording and then we can see this is going on and we get some saplings back we also get some sticks back and there you saw how that worked with uh, uh, 
pushing all the all the locks together. Very nice. And it does take a bit longer to uh, get a tree because uh, this, after all, is a farm that is uh, running slower. So this is not for mass quantity of, of woods, uh, but it is the best thing that we have for uh, acacia and probably further down the line uh, the cherry blossom trees. So I hope you enjoyed this episode and join me next time for yet another project. Until then, goodbye!